All right, welcome back. So this episode, we're going to do Ramba. So let's get started. Um, I'm thinking inlaid library. Oh, we got another uh, thing. Oh, so that's how you... Okay. So you get these from those certain achievements. That's what these are. Every two minutes it tracks all standard stage items, pickups, and light sources towards the character. Oh, that's actually kind of helpful. Let's get that one. Okay. Um. Yes, let's go with Ebony Wings. I'm gonna get this. So unfortunately we do have to deal with this asshole though. I know it won't keep them busy forever, but at least it's something. Okay. Oh, we actually can do the cats now. Interesting. Okay, let's do axe. Um, I'm gonna take this because I think that would be a swell idea. Um, let's take magic wand. So I think those minecarts are this guy's uh, special ability, which is actually kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Unfortunately, we are going to have to kind of deal with this thing the entire time, <laughs> which kind of sucks. Well, not the entire time, but until we... Until we kill it, which can take a while, especially early, this early. Oh, okay, I guess that's uh, some meat. Um, do, do, do. That's actually a really cool power-up, I like that. I don't think there's any way to evolve that, but... I mean, honestly, you might not need to because of how well it scales. Um, let's see. We're going to want peach ones at some point. But I still think a tract orb is a perfectly fine pick. Oop. I'm not sure what's going to happen at the two minute mark, if those things will just kind of go away. Okay. Oh! Those things will constantly go to wherever we're at. Interesting. Okay. I get you. That's actually a really nifty, uh, um, whatever it's called. Oh, shoot. You know what we need? We need, a. Uh... Honestly, this makes getting the upgrades way easier. So it'll just constantly come to us, and I tend to stick to an area and just grind for a while unless I have a reason to go someplace, which is kind of, uh, this one actually kind of breaks it, not gonna lie. Okay, Kindle Opera, I think is what we're gonna go for. I don't wanna take all of them just yet, cause I know, er, I know for sure that the gold ring will um, cause another one of these things to show up, and I'd rather only deal with one at a time. Um, oh. oh, game, you're tempting me right there. Yeah, I 
think we just take the minecart. I don't really want to take the stone mask, at least not until we fill up the entire passive items. Okay, we definitely need the clock lancelet while it's offered. Unfortunately, the clock lancelet does not affect this thing that follows us. I don't know what these, what they're supposed to be, like guardian type creatures. Um, okay, we can't take Santa water. Or, I mean, we could, but I don't think it's the right move. Yeah. Um, X. I'm gonna take this just so I can increase something. Go, go, go. Get away from him. Yeah, these minecarts do a lot of damage. I mean, they, they always did a lot of damage, like in um, the Milk Factory or whatever it's called. Um, Yeah, let's take that. Let's just keep increasing either the size or the strength of our minecarts. Honestly, like, I don't think anything will truly beat my uh, favoritism of uh, the King's Bible, but the minecarts are definitely putting up a fight here. <laughs> like, they were already pretty great in the actual level itself, but the fact that um, doing as much damage as it is, and the fact that you constantly have one like, on the screen at all times is actually really cool. Oh, uh, do, do, do. Ebony wings. So there's no point in taking the gold ring until we've mostly filled out the clock landslip. And honestly, there's no point in taking it until um... until, um, well, yeah, there's no point in taking it until we're pretty much done with the clock landslip. Um, yeah, we keep taking that. Yeah, we need to take clock landslip whenever possible. Unfortunately, not the most helpful attract orb. Yeah, we kind of need to keep this guy, like, get away from me. In parallel with us, so that the minecarts do as much damage as possible. Oh, hello. Increase our luck. Why not? away from that bomb. Let's stay away from this guy. Again, I don't know if he can actually, like, one-shot us. If he, like, touches us. But I really don't want to try. Ah, get away. Dumb. The bomb ghosts are probably the most annoying, because they make you have to, like, go get out of the way in order to protect yourself. Ooh, hello. I do like that this, st that the stopwatch actually does stop it. Okay, I'm going to take peach ones, 
because we can at least evolve it so that it um evolve it with the uh ebony wings Oh, that's actually pretty funny. So I can just kind of sit here, honestly. As long as he's not able to get to me. Thank you. Um, yeah. Feeling less of a need to, like, go for it now. There we go. Nice. And he's dead. Okay. We don't need Spellbinder. I mean, doesn't hurt, obviously. We don't need it. Although, let's let's think about this. So we have Empty Tome, we have Candelabra. Honestly, honestly, we might want Brazer. Like projectile speed. I mean, that'll help with our both our well, all of our weapons actually. I really like this guy. Like, obviously these guys are getting really close and it would be kind of nice to have uh, the books to kind of protect us, but honestly, also I'm going to take that because I think that's just going to benefit us the most here. Getting more of this XP. We do have to kind of keep enemies, like, in a line with us to get the most out of it, though. Because, like, right here, this is not a good spot for us. Um, Hollow Heart doesn't help us. away from us okay wings honestly this character is really not that slow might take armor um okay so let's take empty tome Ooh, nice all right um candelabra we close to evolving anything not really so I think we're fine to just take the chest. Each one, okay, that's fine. I still really like the book for keeping enemies at bay. Book I find to be the, the best at just repelling enemies, keeping them from getting too close. So then I don't have to rely on my reflexes as much. Try and avoid enemies. Especially these bombs. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think staying towards the center of the room is probably the best. Because these minecarts obviously work the best against enemies that are, like, horizontal. Or on the same, uh x-plane as you okay um yeah i think we do need to prioritize clock landslip whenever possible 
Our minecart does a lot of damage, though. Like, if it hits an enemy, especially some of these smaller enemies, it does a tremendous amount of damage. Take that. Clock Lancelot. Armor. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Clock Lancelot. Thank you. Oh! I'm confused. Oh. Oh! Okay. Okay. I, I, I think I understand. Okay. So, apparently you can randomly get the cards. Like, the... A new, um... Or one that you technically have, you're just not using. Interesting. Ah. Um, silver ring might be next base area. Honestly, I think I'll take that. I don't think. I don't think the rings get offered quite as much as some of the other items. Unless you're, you know, nice. Okay. Um. Peach one. I'd like to focus on one particular weapon just so that we can start evolving stuff, evolving things. But kind of is what it is. Oh, I was kind of hoping that red gem would uh, give us a nice boost to our experience. Yeah, honestly, this is actually really helpful. Okay, yep. Clock Lancelet. Um, so yeah, try and survive 31 minutes in the, in the Mad Forest so you can get this particular, uh, um, tarot card or whatever it is. Uh, clock glance lit. Alright, we're actually one away from having the clock glance lit, so I think I'm going to hold off on getting this chest. In a vain attempt to hopefully get the upgradable, or the evolved item. Um, yeah, let's just get a tracked orb. Keep, uh, let's keep the two birds relatively at the same level. Still waiting for Clock Lancelet to show up again. There we go. Alright. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, shoot. I did not pick up the gold ring. Oh well. We'll get another one at some point. Um, a speed, please. Okay. Excuse me, I would like this. Thank you. Do I have to, like... I, I still don't fully understand the rules behind it. Um... 
I have to like kill both of the demon things or what and guardians or whatever they are? Honestly, just I gotta keep this guy like in line with me. And just hope that we find whatever it is that we're supposed to get. Because unless the rules are different for these particular items, which I don't know why they would be, um, all I should need are the sub item or passive items, I guess, in this case, and the weapon that's fully powered up. Like, I shouldn't need the passive items to be fully powered, though. Um... We want to keep increasing the, the birds. I would actually find it pretty hilarious if the if you had like the birds and the cats as items. Oh, Jesus, get away from me! Um, if the cats would like get distracted, it, it would be annoying, but it would be funny, which is all that really counts. Nice. Um. Oh, nice. We got the, uh... Fortunately, that did not last very long. Okay. Uh, yeah, tick ebony wings. Passive items would be kind of nice, but I would rather just take the the weapons so that I, so that I can start evolving some stuff. The birds are pretty handy because they'll take care of the things that are like around me while my Minecart will just kind of plow through the things in front of me. Come on. Thank you. Alright. Um, yeah, take ebony wings. Come on. Give it to me. I know that's gonna be taken out of context, but... <laughs> give me the thing that I want. Nice. Another gold egg. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well take silver ring. So, I don't really know what we need to do now. I have a feeling we're not going to be doing the, um, the morals this time. Uh, yeah, let's take Peach One. Oh, nice. More gold. I have a feeling we're not going to keep this gold run as, uh... Yeah. 303, I suppose that's not terrible. I think we got, like, what, 900 on that one when we were in the Gallo Tower? Okay. Are you going to give me what I want now? Nope, apparently not. What do I need to... Okay. I need to figure out what we need to do for this. Because this is getting annoying that it won't... It won't give us the, uh, the upgrade. Okay. So, unfortunately, we have to get both the gold ring and 
the silver ring all the way leveled up. So we're going to have to focus on just getting more. And I don't believe chests will level up the, uh, the rings. We just got to kind of focus on getting as many levels as possible. We also would really like to upgrade or evolve the other items as well. Problem is, how many more chests are we going to get? I think for sure we need to... If I had known that, um, then I definitely wouldn't have uh, wasted some of those chests. Come on. Kill as many things as possible, please. Guess I gotta be a bit more proactive with uh, killing things. I am glad that it's giving us the silver ring over the gold ring, though. I mean, obviously we're gonna need both. I really want to get this upgraded, though. Uh, okay, I, I can't remember if that's like the final kind of big boss. Um, honestly, I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna keep taking silver ring over gold ring, but we're. You know, Eventually, we're going to have to start taking... Get away from me. We're going to have to take gold ring. Okay. I want to kill this thing so that we can get the, the birds upgraded. Well, honestly, that might not be in our best interest to do. I think we just try and kill as much stuff as possible, and then in a minute there will be the the summoning circle will show back up. I don't even know how to really describe it. The thing that like brings it all around us in a circle. We'll just take care of it there. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we gotta take gold ring whenever possible. Because otherwise we're never going to complete this in time. I do love how much damage these minecarts do. Wait. All spawn around us. <sighs> Honestly. <sighs> no, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna take this so that we get the upgraded bird. I do want to leave a chest around, in case worse comes to worse and we can't get any more chest. Go away, you stupid bombs. Okay, there's another chest. Um, pick axe. We gotta prioritize the things that we have over the getting a new item. One. 
Kill these things faster, please. I guess, yeah, we'll take... Take the axe. Oh, nice! That's actually handy. Unfortunately, I can't skip these, but... So that'll fill things up a little faster. We don't have to waste as many levels on upgrading. Okay, there's another chest. That's handy. Again, I don't believe you can get the gold ring from the rings from the uh, from the chest. I think it's strictly from leveling up. Well, I guess I'll take Rune Tracers, since that's the best option. And rather not just straight up waste a level for no reason, just on a banish or a uh, skip. Yeah, unfortunately skips um, don't actually, like, they just, they just straight up skip. Nice. Um, gold ring. More money you get, the longer it lasts. So. Silver ring. Mostly, if I could get the fire breathing bread, that would be swell. Oh, shoot. Pick up that. Heal herself. Gold ring. Unfortunately, these enemies are starting to get faster and stronger. Since we're Taking the gold rings. Whoa. Hey now. This must be a new enemy. Or a new boss, at least. Gold ring, please. We need mm, it's, uh, like a witch. Uh, yeah, empty tome. Oh, I was kinda, no, I saw a red jewel in there, and I was kind of hoping that would give me, like, a full-on level or two. But nope, not this time. Okay, uh, yeah, I have to take gold ring. Honestly, probably need to take a chest. Would have been handy if this was, you know, a good chest, though. Um, I guess we'll take the bird. Hold on, how many more do we need? Three? Okay, so good. You know, a lot of these, uh, gold, uh, gold fever things. Uh, gold ring. Okay, we're one away, and naturally the game will probably not, uh, discard. I don't really need it. I just kind of picked it up by accident. Alright, come on. Gold ring. Need a gold ring. Anyone got a gold ring for sale? Or just a giveaway? This is so much stuff on the screen right now. Alright, come on. 
Give me what I need. Gold ring, please. Gold ring. Yes. Alright. Ice. I think that's called the Infinite Corridor. Hmm. Wonder where I've heard that term before. Okay, I have no clue what this does. Is it, like, is there any thing that'll tell me what that does? Like, it looks like it just does a bunch of damage, but I can't really tell. Honestly, the bird is probably the best. The only problem with taking the bird is it takes forever to fully level up everything. Because you're, you're essentially doing it again for another item. Alright, we should probably focus on another weapon of some kind. So yeah, we're not doing the, uh... We're not doing the laurels this run. We're gonna do that probably next time. But yeah, I really like this minecart sub-weapon. We... Okay, we're only one away. Tracer, thank you. Get that. And focus on getting. And just go ahead and take this chest because we don't really need to hold on to it. Any more? One more? Alright, yeah, we'll be. dark powers. Might as well take it, because why not? Get that one as well. So yeah, we're unfortunately going to get um, kind of attacked by both of these. Increase enemy speed in health quantity. Alright, and health recovery. So like the, the two rings, these ones kind of do different things. Uh, one helps the enemies while one helps us. Um, so, increase enemy speed. I think we're going to banish that one. Because we don't really need it. We're not going to be able to get the laurels, so it's not really that big of a deal. We can at least use the other one to help us kill these, uh, those two. And get some more gold eggs, which I still have no clue what they do. Unfortunately since, uh, unfortunately, since we didn't take uh, laurels, we can't really take on the, the reapers. Because they'll just get to us and kill us. And I have no, uh, I still have no clue what the infinite corridor really does for us. Alright. Not that, you know, taking on the Reapers was really going to be an option at 104. Alright, ready? Bam.
Yep. That's unfortunate. We got one revive, but it's not really going to be helpful. Unfortunately, I have a feeling since we don't have the laurels, we can't, like, yeah, we won't be able to reach. Oh, nice. Still 80 entries and obtained the infinite corridor. corridor. Reach level 100. Oh, nice. I actually didn't realize that we uh, had picked that one. Okay, cool. Um, so who did that give us? So that gave us another reroll, which is nice. And another banished. Yeah. We're actually pretty close to getting the 90 entries. Infinite Corridor. Crimson Shroud, which I'm assuming that's the Laurel one. Okay. Unite Vento Sacro and Bloody Tear. Oh, interesting. So you can upgrade the... Evolve the Bloody Tear a second time. All right, I guess we're going to have to figure that one out. Well, the Shadow Pinion. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.